Hey there, Jose Duque here again, and this is the second part of the video I did earlier a couple months ago about uh, sevens and five within the context of paradiddle combinations. Uh, this time we'll be looking at how to apply these within a groove, but in a 4-4 time. If you remember what happened last time, the actual exercise uh, on on sevens and five end up being four measures of three four time. So in this case on four four we have to take every three quarter notes. We're going to have distribution of the sevens and five, which will give us uh, an opportunity of uh, three. It will be like sevens five. And then seven and five, and then a truncated half uh, measure of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and you go back to the to the um, groove. So the first way to do this is actually do it first on the snare and keep uh, the quarter note on the um, on the hi hat. Once you do that several times so you can hear how the phrase happens then you try to do it within uh, a regular 4-4 beat. Here's first with just the snare and the hi-hat playing the quarter notes. Now here it is again within the context of playing a 4-4 beat and then the just the snare. And now we can use the same principle, we can just move the accents to the toms or cymbals or crashes or uh, splashes that we have and then we can create um, the same idea that we did on the snare but now with the toms. Now finally my favorite which is playing the 4-4 beat where we never leave the hi-hat and the snare. We play the paradiddles between our hi-hat and the snare drum and every time we start the paradiddle with our right hand we actually play the bass drum as well. So you, you can create the same principle of the field within a context of just snare, bass drum and hi-hat. So here's that example. So now the next thing I did was I wrote something uh, really quickly on the computer and uh, some snippet, I composed something and then uh, I added those accents within the, 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 the groove of the small song I made and I play along with it. So, so you can kind of see the, the, the application of this thing within uh, a song. Uh, now it is very important if you're going to do this or something similar to this, the band 
should should be uh, playing those things with you as well. Otherwise, it sounds like you're just like messing around with the song, or, or at least the bass player should make those figures with you. In this case, I have the bass and a guitar, uh, the story guitar, doing those phrases with me. So it sounds that I'm together with with some sort of a band. Okay, so here's the example I make. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's the video for today. And if you, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, uh, send me a private message and I'll respond to you uh, at the earliest convenience. Uh, as you can see, I, I don't like to have comments in the videos because you can, I can waste time just trying to respond to people like inter or having a conversation online, just taking away time for me to do other stuff. So it's easy for me to respond private emails. Uh, if you like what you saw, let me know. If you didn't like it, also send me an, an email too saying that you didn't like it. Uh, I just want to thank uh, Porter and Davis, Kickport, Simpat, Salt on Symbols for their support. So I'll be probably making another video. I won't say soon because it usually takes me a while to, to, to do them, but um, you can check my website if you have any questions or my music uh, and what I've been doing. Thank you and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.